What's up, Shmodown fans? Welcome back to another episode of Beyond the Shmodown. I'm s- former Star Wars champion Andrew DiMolanta, and I'm Star Wars competitor Nikki DiMolanta. I forgot who I was. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Halloween or belated Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Well, the night that we're filming this, yeah, it, it is, is Halloween. Halloween. Yeah. So spooky. I'm scared. Favorite but, candy? Yeah. Go. Favorite any kind of candy? Any kind of candy. Mm. <sighs> Probably gonna go with the candy bar. Mm-hmm. Probably gonna go with good old fashioned Twix mm. or maybe a Milky Way. That's fine, Milky Way. If it's not chocolate, probably Starburst. If not chocolate, probably Skittles. Ooh, good choice. Uh, also, Sour Patch Kids, but you can't have too many, and then your mouth hurts. Yeah. Oh, those those sour straws. <gasps> Oof. Yeah, those are pretty. Yeah. Pretty good. My mom would go to oh, was it Sam Clubs or BJ's, and always get us like a huge skit of it. <laughs> those are pretty good so you can't good. have too much of that sour yeah, stuff and, and then you're like yeah. it's like ugh, too much <laughs> but yeah we went trick-or-treating tonight yeah first time ever very adorable very cute went with some, some neighbors mm. and you know it was adorable got some candy got she got pissed when our daughter got pissed when we came home and she, we wouldn't let her eat every single piece <laughs> so you know parenthood <laughs> it is what it is, it is what she it is. had two pieces I'm yeah. like, baby girl, if you eat it all right now, first of all, you're going to get a bellyache. Right. Second of all, there's not going to be any left for tomorrow. And I think we're going to just let her have chocolate, like the M&Ms and the candy bars. I uh, think we're going to I think we're going to take away daddy tax all the, the hard mm, candies. Well, we also got teeth. pixie stick. We got like, I think a pixie stick. Um, why am no, I just going to dump sugar gonna, into her mouth? Not, I mean, you're basically just dumping sugar in her mouth when it's a chocolate bar anyway. But still. But it's like, it looks like literal sugar and it's just different. Yeah. Psychologically speaking. It's like, I'm <laughs> just pour First of all, let me pour powder in your mouth. It's just pure sugar. And second of all, yeah. I know that she's just going to go like, and then like choke on yeah. it. <laughs> Why am I going to do that? Ooh, nerds. Oh, no. I love nerds. They're all right, but yeah. I would never go, ooh, ooh, nerds. Nerd rope? Oh. I don't think I've ever had nerd rope. It was Oops. just nerds stuck to a sticky Twizzler? Yeah. Well, not, yeah, well it's like a licorice rope type thing, but it's so good. Anyways, sorry. Sorry. Um. So four matches? I think so. Three three regular matches and a uh, single match pay per view. Oh a yeah, vers- a versus. So a big one. Spoiler alert: If you haven't seen any of the matches this week, I, I think that goes without saying for all of our episodes. Usually, but you mm-hmm. you, you know, never know. You never know. You never know if you haven't seen last week's matches, especially and, the pay per view. Yeah. And we will be pulling an audible a little bit because the first match that we will talk about uh, before the teams match. We'll talk about the teams match last. Because it is a title match. Oh, it's a big one. It's a big title match. But um, we'll talk about uh, the Star Wars match that happened this past week um, before that. <laughs> like, you don't know. Anyways. Uh, gulp. <laughs> first match. Okay. So, let's let's just do a little scrolling. Oh, right. We've got a team's semifinals? Semifinals, yeah. We've got a tournament match. Duh. We've got Deception. Of corruption, which is of course the reigning, defending singles champ of the world, Miss mm-hmm. Lady Justice Marisol McKee, absolutely, and Mister Adam the Coyote Collins versus King Arthur of the Finstock Exchange, which is of course downtown Arthur Nooms and King Khan. Very excited for this matchup mm-hmm. because I mean, what a colossal matchup! Yeah. You've got. The current and former singles champions of the world. Mm-hmm. And they're going up against these two like rookie phenoms. Yep. Especially Nooms. Nooms has just been I mean, on fire lately. And it's just like, oh, well, it's, you could easily see it going either way. Oh, yeah. Deception wins, like, yeah, well, duh. Yeah. Champs. But then if you see Nooms and Khan take it, it's kind of like, well, yeah, they're kind of on fire right now. Mm-hmm. So. Sorry, I had stuck in my teeth. No, sorry. I was eating grits before the episode. <laughs> random <laughs> well that is that is yeah you gonna eat after this yeah okay no i just i need something in my stomach mm. yeah we didn't have dinner mm-hmm. i had a late lunch did you have a late lunch yes i had a late lunch okay yeah maybe we'll just have a late dinner oh boy ramen okay. noodles ramen sorry it's good stuff come at me but, so good oh, so good i mean sodium whatever i don't care I don't give you- <laughs> round one <laughs> both marisol and adam miss a question about octavia spencer Oof. Adam, Marisol, and Khan missed a question about Vanilla Sky. Never seen it. Uh, Nooms, however, 
got a perfect round. Already noobs. <laughs> Already he noobs. got a perfect round and he got the bonus. It was a it was like this movie release date where it was Oh like, yeah, that's a wild freaking question. It was like what year did like the fourth installment of this franchise of, this, of and the these 11th three franchises. Yeah. I was like, what a question. Hold, like just because like it's like, yeah, you get like maybe you focus on one franchise and then like, okay, their fourth installment of this came out this year. But just I, I'm gushing about this the question because this is a Crazy. ridiculous rad question because it's like the amount of mental gymnastics he had to go through. It's like, why aren't you giving him 20 seconds for this? For real. Did he use it? I don't know if no, I don't remember he didn't. if he used to repeat. He, he took a couple, he took longer than he normally does, but it's like you're checking a, a movie release date for the fourth installment of three franchises. It's like, okay, okay. I think there okay. was another one that it was like a later installment of a yeah. franchise or something crazy. Something like that. I was like, but you it was, gotta be kidding I me. Mean, that like, was awesome. Like I've said a million times, I don't have any gauge for what's hard and what's mm -hmm. easy. Most of the time in singles and teams because I don't know anything about movies. So, but there are you usually in a movie is. Trivia contest? What? <laughs> are you playing in a movie trivia show? <laughs> I kind of know about a couple movies <laughs> <laughs> um, in one franchise. But even I sometimes can mm -hmm. just hear the structure of a question and go, oh no. Yeah. Like, that sounds hard. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I was like, why aren't you giving him 20 seconds for this? This, this felt like one of those questions. Insane question. I mean, I don't know. Maybe it wasn't that hard, but it know. sounded hard. He, he could probably just like, all right, th that franchise, their fourth movie was released this date. <laughs> but you can easily confuse it with something else. So I I'm thought gonna... it was a, I thought it was a very ridiculously difficult question, in my opinion. Round one, 12 to 16 now in favor of King Arthur. Mm. Round two, King Arthur spins away from Jimmy Stewart, a known strength of Miss McKee. Mm -hmm. They get Guillermo del Toro. They go to multiple twice, twice, and they got them both. Deception goes. They spin away from martial arts. Mm -hmm. They get Angela Bassett. Ah, I love martial arts films. Can you turn the fan on? Sorry. Oh, boy. You always Is forget. I always forget. Warm. I I almost asked you before, but then I was like, I don't know. It was 70-something degrees today. On characteristic of Florida. Very much. And tomorrow's supposed to be gonna, back yeah, up to 81. All the lights in here. Always makes, even though they're LEDs still. Oh, God. It always makes that pop in yeah, headphones. Yeah, it makes it pop, yeah. And I forget every time. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, no, tomorrow's supposed to be back up to 81. Oh, Florida, am I right? Florida. Ladies? That's on Florida. <sighs> it's like they throw you one cool day. And it wasn't even cold. It was just cool. Yeah, it was nice. It was a nice day, nice breeze. And then it's just like, pfft, nope, turn the thermostat right back up for Monday. <sighs> Thanks, uh, guys. Summer Junior here in Florida. There are no seasons, just summer and summer junior. Summer Junior. I've never heard that before. You ever heard of that before? No. <laughs> Is that a thing? Yeah, I, I learned like I've heard it before, but it's come come up more, mostly on my TikTok feed from that one guy I follow. Of course, it's TikTok. <laughs> Anyways, Angela Bassett, they got a perfect round two. Oof. I thought maybe they would stick with martial arts because I feel yeah. like it's kind of a strength of chances, and maybe they were studying together. Yeah. I don't know. Anyways, they didn't, mm -hmm. <laughs> but it didn't matter because they got a perfect round two. Yeah. Now it's twenty four to twenty six in favor of King Kian and um, downtown Artie Numi's round three. Two pointer for deception. Adam takes it. Well, we're back to martial arts. Funny how. Mm -hmm. What rapper co stars with Jet Li as Anthony Fate in Cradle to the Grave? Uh, DMX. What? RIP. RIP. He got it. Two Woo! <laughs> Is that Ric Flair? <laughs> he does that as well. Does, does he? It? Yeah. <laughs> oh, the, the barking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the barking. Yeah. DMX yeah. is a one in the kind of rapper. Oh like, yeah. There's no denying like every DM like I think there's a couple of rappers that like, you know, DMX, 50 Cent, or like you, they have their distinct style of X of gonna rap. give it to you. you yeah. Know? He's Yeah. R. I. P. Um he he got it. Two point four King Arthur. Mm -hmm. Modern classics. Khan takes it. What film was directed by Paul Thomas Anderson and loosely based on the novel Oil <laughs> by Upton Sinclair? There will be blood. How fitting for Halloween. Ooh, I don't know spoopy. if that's a spooky movie. I don't know. Anyways, he got it. Three-pointer for deception. Marisol's taking it this time. Tarantino. Which Tarantino film has the line, ooh, that's a bingo. <laughs> ooh, that's oh, a bingo. Yeah. Is that the way you say it? That's a bingo. <laughs> Inglorious Bastards. She got it. Cutest moment I've ever seen on that camera. That was adorable. <laughs> I forget how she said it. No, it's a bingo <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> We went back and rewatched that about, I don't know, 50 million times. That was the cutest thing ever. Oh, my God. And she didn't. It's not like she like giggled afterward. Like yeah. <laughs> she was in character yeah. the whole time. And it was adorable. Oh, my God. I love it. <laughs> moment of the year. <laughs> Please nominate that for moment of the year. Cutest moment of the year. Let's make a subcategory. Yeah. <laughs> Three point or four. King Arthur. Nooms takes it. 1990s. What 1990s? 
James Bond film features performances from John Cleese, Robbie Coltrane, and Robert Carlyle. The world is not enough. Oh, this is this, this is, is the mean. One that, this is mean by by uh, not Harlow, oh by God, Mark. Ellis. Mark was like, because he, he said the world's not enough, and Mark was like, no, it is not. But like that's the right answer. Yeah, it's like, and it's I'm not, like, I mean, the world is not enough. But yes, that is the correct oh answer. I'm like, my mm. god, that was so mean, Marcus Ellis. <laughs> that was very mean. Don't do that. And I, I feel like even Nooms was like, because <sighs> oh, he was like, <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that was yeah, that was mean. That was dirty. Five pointer for deception: remakes and reboots. Charles Grodin plays Fred Wilson, owner of an oil company who leads an expedition in this 1970s remake. King Kong. Got it. Five-pointer for King Arthur. Action Adventure. What is the title of the fourth installment in the Dirty Harry franchise, which is also the only entry to be directed by the star Clint Eastwood? Sudden Impact. And they got it. 34 to 36 in favor of King Arthur. Wow, what a match. Do you call it an upset? Hard I don't, to I, I feel I feel point, like it's hard to say it it's is. It's so late in the season. I feel if, like people are throwing around the word upset a lot yeah, for stuff. Yeah, if this was like maybe the third, second or third match that we've seen either of Nooms or Con in, maybe. But, but they've we been know, excelling. They've been excelling. We know how good they are. So I don't classify this as an upset. I don't know. Don't especially know. since Nooms is undefeated in any point, uh, any facet of the Shimodon, he's undefeated. That's true. He hasn't lost this season, so I don't call this an upset because we know exactly how good he is. And Collins is hitting the sophomore slump this season. There's no way around it. it, it he's just he's just not getting the the luck he needs. The luck of the draw isn't on his side this, um, this season because, you know, hmm. he, he had a rough patch. The season's over now. It happens. It happens. Um, but, uh, yeah, like, this, I was interested to see this because, like, no, uh, Noobs is on fire. Con has only lost once. Right, and uh, wasn't it to who was it to? It was to um, Lon, to Lon Harris, I believe. Yeah, yeah. So and Lon's a great player, exactly. And that's what I'm saying. So it's like I don't. People are like, like you said, the the word upset is getting thrown around a lot. Like, this there's season. one specific match that people JTEM Collins. Okay, I wasn't gonna say it, but yeah, yeah. JTE over Collins. I'm like, what? It's like what? How, that's how, not why? an upset. It's what not are you talking upset. about? Yeah, like, we know exactly what these two are made of, and they're basically on the same level mm -hmm. Collins is just I think people are like oh well, Collins is former champion single oh, champion well I think that they're like, also thinking JTE has been out of it for yeah, you know like, several no, years no after his after JTE's first match we were like no he it's he like he in, never stepped away from the game I mean but we're not talking about that match yeah. but we're just talking about the fact that uh, people are using the word upset of the oh. year the term upset yeah. of the year a lot and yeah. I'm like no, for that match so I'm not sure that I would classify this one as an upset as a, it's a massive as a, statement win. Oh, it's a massive statement win, but I wouldn't I, almost as a credit to Khan and yeah. Nooms. Yeah. I wouldn't say it's an upset because they're just they, know, they're on fire. Yeah, we know exactly how what they're capable of. Exactly like, between the two 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 of them, they've only lost uh, one. There's one loss on on their record between the two of them. Right, and it was to Lon Harris. Right, who is yeah he's spotty sometimes, but he is a fantastic competitor. Yeah, um, so there are there. Are, a couple of matches this season that I that I uh, that, that we've watched and one that we're going to talk about later um, that I was like, yep, that is a, 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 a true upset. So, um, yeah, I'm I'm not surprised by this because this is a match I looked at. It's like I'm interested to see how it turns out. But mm -hmm. I, if if King Arthur beats Deception, I would not be surprised. No, and not as any slight to Deception. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's just it's just, it's, just a, it's a testament to teams. it's a testament to how well King Arthur's playing. Yes. Um, but. Uh, yeah, it was very. It was a little uncharacteristic of Deception to miss that many in the in the first, especially when they both miss. It's like every time both of them miss, I'm like, yeah. "Oh, wow, that that's wow, that's surprising." Um, yeah. But they bounced back with the perfect round two. Oh, yeah. And then after their first round, they didn't miss a single question. Right. So it's just that first round just, just kind of fell behind and then yeah. couldn't keep, couldn't get back yeah, up there. Exactly. So, you know, now we get to see um, another Finstock exchange in um like faction we'd see the exchange in the finals of another tournament because they're in, they are in the finals for the star wars tournament right. with a uh, gold leader right um beating uh laura kelly in the star wars tournament and now we have king arthur in the uh finals of the team's tournament and we still got nooms running around in the singles yeah. tournament I, is he the only finstock member I don't remember. There's too many people. I think he might be. Oh, no, no. Craig. But, sorry. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. We were going to talk about the next. Jesus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whoops. Um, no. Barbarian's still in there. Noob's, Noob's still, still in there. there. I think Con, and Con, was Con got eliminated. Because of Lon. And then. 
Who else was on? Um, Radis. No. No, Radis isn't in the tournament. No, because he had that separate thing. Yeah. Who, was, who else was on the exchange? I'm so embarrassed right now. Yeah, me too. There's just so there's so oh, much. Oh, Lieberman. The tyrant. Yes, yeah, he got eliminated. With Bibbs, I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Got there. We got there. We Finally. eventually got there. <laughs> there's just so much going on this season. I'm actually like... It's, you know, this we were spoiled this season with so many matches and so many competitors. Right. With the roster getting cut down next season, it's like kind of a blessing in disguise. So, like, we can keep track of things more because there's less, there'll be less massive matches. I can't, matches I can't to make a guarantee that I'm going to keep track better. Yeah, but still, it'd be a little easier to keep track of things because there'll be less matches and less competitors to keep track of. Um, yeah. And stuff like that. So, oh, uh, probably. Yeah. But, I took a note that in the post match interview, you know, Gucci wasn't uh, yeah. wearing a shirt because Gucci. Yeah. And uh, Jen told him that he looked like a slutty Popeye, which I thought was hilarious in and of itself. <laughs> And then Gucci, <laughs> he gave us, he just, he just gave us. He keeps blessing us with these gems. He's a real meme machine, that yes. guy. And It's he, a living uh, meme machine. <laughs> he blessed us with a quote that absolutely could be on a shirt. I could see somebody getting it tattooed on themselves or something. He said, well, I'm strong to the finish because we eat our spinach. <laughs> Gucci is one of a kind. The line between <laughs> genius and insanity is razor thin. <laughs> and he is toeing that line. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I love Gucci. He's hilarious. So, yeah. I will say it forever <laughs> that I think he's hilarious. Yeah. And that line is why. <laughs> <laughs> he's just, he just, he's a machine yeah. for those kinds of sayings. Yeah. And, and I love it. A quote of the year material for me right there. Mm-hmm. But yeah. yeah crazy match crazy match i mean the ex- like the exchange stops the bleeding for corruption i mean they're out of the tournament they're still in the singles i believe with we have yet to see mike against janine right and who else is on corruption i think that's collins it collins was eliminated collins was eliminated um, um i think their other two were eliminated chance chance didn't go in wasn't in and i think their other two got on yeah i think it was Brittany young all oh, right and is she still in it or she and got a, james James White, right? that's right. Yeah, so it's only it, it is now only. No, because Brittany Young, I think, is stars, right? Is she? Yeah, but James White, is, James White is got eliminated. And, yeah, yeah. I don't remember. I don't remember who else is on there, but yeah, I think their only their last hope for another uh, in, corruption invitational is Mike Kalinowski in the singles tournament. Word, true. That so, is a thing. Yeah, yeah. We'll because see they are that. they already punched their ticket with uh, Marisol. Yeah. So um, we are already in it. Unfortunately, it's the end of Adam Collins' season. But I don't see him staying down for long. Oh, for long hell no! It's just a sophomore. Collins. It's just a sophomore slump. Happens to the best of everybody. Of course. So, um, just a rough run from this season, and I think I'm sure he'll be back even stronger next season. And honestly, so. sometimes it's a relief. Yeah. So sometimes you get knocked out of a tournament, or not your, your last match of the season. You're like, oh. and it hurts in that moment, but then you're like, oh wow, yeah. I can relax for a minute. Yeah, okay. retrospect, you can watch other things than other than movies and other things. You can enjoy do other things that you you enjoy doing. Hmm. So. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, great match. Fantastic oh, yeah. match. That's why I love the Schmodown. Oh, yeah. Because you really never know. Yeah. Next, we have a singles match. And I can't tell you. Quarterfinals, maybe? I don't know. Maybe? Semi? Quarter? I think I don't it might know be quarter. I think it might be a quarter. It's a tournament match. We've got Paul Primetime Oyama. Set your clocks. He's representing swag. And he's going up against the... the wow. I don't know what happened there. He's going up against the Barbarian of the Finstock Exchange. Okay. Yeah, man. That's like cla- that's a classic wrestler thing to do. Oh, yeah. It's, it's so it's so WWE. Man. So good. Round one. Uh-oh. I wrote Craig because it's shorter than Barbarian. <laughs> so I'm going to have to navigate my way around this. <clears throat> the Barbarian missed a question about Thelma and Luis. Mm-hmm. Paul got a perfect round. But he did not get the bonus. So by the end of round one, it's seven to eight now in favor of Paul. Round two. Also, I know we've said it before. Say it again. Paul's theme, our favorite oh. theme in all the Schmodown. Oh, yeah. So good. So chill. Such the right vibe. It's make awesome. it my ringtone or something. Round two. You can buy it and make Bar- it ringtone. Barbarian. Well, too much effort. <laughs> Barbarian spins away from monster movies. He gets opponent's choice. He's given young adult adaptations. Mm-hmm. But guess what? That backfired on the givers oh yeah because he got a perfect round too crushed it paul goes he spins away from comedies and he gets the monster movies that barbarian spent away from yep he went to multiple choice one time he missed it it got stolen but it was challenged it was the oh, whole yeah. zankazaria yeah conundrum you know mm-hmm. and this is everything uh, like, correct me if i'm wrong this is the first time i think they've ever actually gone back and watched tape 
um, and to confirm what they said. If I, not the if not the first time, one of the only times. Yeah. This is the first time I've ever heard of them going back. Yeah, we went back and watched the tape. Like, wait, we can do that. Yeah, I just wonder if it's like they had to stop recording. I imagine that's what they did. Go back and watch mm-hmm. it, and then start it up again. Yeah, yeah, I imagine that's what they did. But I mean, wh- <laughs> it, it is a sticky situation. It is, and you know, it, I, can, I can think of another time when I wish this was an option. I'll let it go. I'll let it go. <laughs> That we've already gotten in trouble enough for that, so we'll, we'll it just, was a different time. We'll, we'll just breeze past that. I'm just gonna breeze right on past it, but I'm glad that they got to reap the rewards of a replay. <laughs> <laughs> but um, so yeah, they went back and rewatched yeah. it. The answer was Hank Azaria, but you know, Mark was said he's, Zank, he said he said Zank Azaria, Azaria you know, when he said kinda, to Paul. It and has and, a uh, very rare mispronunciation by by Mark Ellis. Yeah, Mark's usually pretty on point. Maybe mm-hmm. he was a little sleepy that day. Who knows? But you know, Zank Azaria, which. I know I people were like, hey, listen, he just didn't know it. But I don't know. Still, you you might be confusing him like, Zank Azaria, what? Well, because I can think of a... Ne- never mind. I'm going to pass it. <laughs> I don't know if you know where I'm going with that. Another time that a name was mispronounced and it could have thrown somebody oh, yeah. off. Yeah. You know what I'm talking oh, about. Yeah. You know what I'm talking No, you probably don't, but I do. Um, but yeah, no. Eh, it happens. It could throw you off because you're like, mm-hmm. who? Yeah. You know? You might know the answer, but like the the mispronunciation, like wait, what? Maybe. So. So, anyways, the challenge was upheld. He got a new question, but he had to go to multiple choice because rules. Yeah. He already went to multiple choice because rules. Yeah. Um, he got the new question with multiple choice. Oh yeah, he got it right. He went to multiple choice another time, missed it, but it was not stolen. We're now thirteen to fifteen in favor of the barbarian. Round three, two pointer for Paul. Comedies. What 1980s John Hughes comedy has the line, this is my ninth sick day this semester. It's pretty rough, tough, coming up with new illnesses. Ferris, Ferris Bueller's, Bueller's Day, day off. off. Never Love seen it. the movie. No thanks. Love it. Got it. He got it right. Two point, he annoys me. Oh, come he on. He just annoys me. Come on. Like, just, we gotta, sometimes we gotta sit down and watch this film because I, I no. love this movie. Hard pass. Uh, I don't know. Whoever plays Ferris Bueller, I can't think of his name and I, I don't care. <laughs> I don't know. He just kind of annoys me in this movie. Yeah, It's not Star Wars, so don't worry about it. Also that. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, he got it. He's seen it. Two-pointer for the Barbarian. 1990s. A boy. Is that the one where he puts a boombox on his thing? And he's like, eh, and he's like holding a boombox. No, that's a that's, different movie. No, that's not it. No. I can't remember. That movie escapes me for some reason right now. But I, I, I guess I just lumped them into the same thing. Same yeah, guy, no, right? No. Uh, Maybe? Uh, I don't know right now. I don't know. If only we had bibs around, he could tell me. Yeah. <laughs> Sure. Put it in the comments, Bibbs. You watch the show. <gasps> Do you? Are you still there? He does. Hmm. Hi, Bibbs. Two pointer for Craig. Barbarian. <laughs> ignore it. Just ignore, ignore it. Ignore it. Nineteen nineties. A boy named Danny Madigan is magically transported into a movie called Jack Slater Four by a magic movie ticket in this nineteen ninety three Arnold Schwarzenegger film, The Last, Last Action, Action Hero. Hero. He Love the movie. Got oh, it. Oh my god, this is classic. Like that era type of movie oh it's so good never saw it. oh, it's so good never saw it. <laughs> love it three pointer for paul 1970s some people might shit on it oops sorry oh <laughs> no bad words i don't know what everybody else thinks about it i, I watched it at age where i was like oh this movie's so good <laughs> i can't even like love picture it. that movie in my head it's like so good. like i can't even picture a commercial for it yeah you probably it, it's such an obscure movie i, don't know, I have to look at like, it's, it's a weird it's it is an odd like film in schwarzenegger's filmography but <laughs> it's it's a good one. I like it. Ain't it ain't no jingle all the way. I'll tell you that much. Yeah. Hmm. Kindergarten Cop? Oh, what? yeah, no. I, I love Kindergarten Cop. Three-pointer for Paul, 1970s. Doesn't he, isn't he, like, good at this? Like, 70s or whatever? Who? Like, older movies, Paul? Paul, yeah. I mean, he's got, like, an old soul, I feel. Like, yeah. he's, I mean, I feel like he's a younger dude, younger than us, I think. Yeah, he's in his 20s, I believe. Mid-20s? Close to mid-20s now, I think. Because he was 21, 22 when he won the title. Oh. Yeah. Got to be that age again. Yeah. Good for you. <laughs> Name a 1979 Disney sci-fi adventure film that was directed by, wait. Name a? Name the. Name. That's probably what I was going for. <laughs> I was like, this doesn't look like one of those many answers are applicable things. I will say that you, your autocorrect has become a, a bit of a celebrity <laughs> for this show. Because <laughs> people were like, I tune in just for that. <laughs> I do voice to text. <laughs> I used to like 
me typing it out like letter by letter and then yeah. you were like you just do voice of text and, yeah. I'm, and it was like a whole new world yeah. when you showed me how to do that i stepped into the 21st century <laughs> and i was like all right and then i don't proofread them i just kind of assume <laughs> technology would be a lot <laughs> it's google I, it's go- like uh, how do you not how do you dumb- not trust the google machine <laughs> the dumbest thing is that i can say clear as day hey Paul Oyama got the 1970s and it'll like mess it up. Yet I can say some crazy word from like an IG match from like Lord of the Rings or Harry Potter. And it's like, yep, got it. No problem. No spelling errors. <laughs> what was that one get actor that was like, wow, I blo- I'm surprised I got John that. John Turtletob? Something like that. Something yeah. like that. And it got that like, Roger that. What's next? <laughs> but you can't, you can't distinguish <laughs> all from the. <laughs> Get together, Google. <laughs> Jesus. Name the 1979 Disney sci-fi adventure film that was directed by Gary Nelson and stars Anthony Perkins. The Black Hole. Got it. Three-pointer for the barbarian, Leo DiCaprio. DiCaprio has been nominated for six Academy Awards for his acting. Ooh. Name two of the thrill- films he's been nominated for. I think I got I think I got this. We, yeah, just name two. But I, yeah. well, I knew I, What's Eating Gilbert Grape was mm-hmm. one, and that's one of the ones he said. I think the other one I said was Titanic, which I'm assuming is the right answer, but I, I don't know. I think so. I'm not sure. Maybe, I I'm, said, maybe, maybe I'm half right. I said Wolf of Wall Street and The Revenant. He said The Revenant. I don't know. Maybe Titanic is wrong. I don't think he did. How embarrassing for, sure. for me. He got it. Five-pointer for Paul. Thrillers. Appropriate. For Halloween. Uh, I cannot believe a Halloween has gone by and I haven't listened to that song. When we're finished here, I'm going to listen to that song. Maybe watch the music video and hope I don't have spooky dreams. <laughs> <laughs> because seriously, when he like at the end of the and music he turns, video, when he like he's looks, got the, he's got the Sith Lord eyes. He's got the eyes, <laughs> and then like it just goes to like the dance break. Yeah. And it's like darkness falls across the land, and all the zombies start coming out. I get legit like, mm. <laughs> like I don't do well, zombies. Yeah, you don't like zombies. Don't like zombies. Don't like them at all so when they're all like mm, and like creepily mm. <laughs> like it my brother used to act like a zombie when we were growing up and he would torture me and he, so he wouldn't stop when you told him to stop yeah. he wouldn't stop when i told him to stop and uh, <laughs> he'd be like Robbie, I'm stop. like stop uh, you really like you're really scary <laughs> it would start yeah. as like the stop it would be like stop, stop. no seriously stop <laughs> you ever heard the story of my mom's brother my uncle what he used to do to her he oh, t- with the ketchup bottle and oh, the, yeah. the knife in, in the armpit. My uncle, he would, yeah, yeah he would like call I for her. When they story. were really young, younger, he would like call for her. Like she's upstairs or whatever. And he's like, hey, come here. I need help. And like she would come down and he would like, he would have like smeared ketchup all over his arm. And then he would put a, a knife under his armpit and he would like lie on the kitchen floor, like groaning and moaning. And I think the first time he did it, she was like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> so at least my brother didn't take it that far. Yeah. Anyways, long story short, I don't like zombies. <laughs> so maybe I'll fast forward that part of Thriller. <laughs> Paul's five. David Duchovny co-stars as Brian Kessler, a journalist researching serial killers in what 1993 film? California. He did miss it. Oh. So with that, 18 to 23 in favor of The Barbarian. Moving on to the next round for the Finstock Exchange. Wow. I mean, God, and Paul's just... <sighs> I feel not, like he's not catching a break. He's not catching a break. And as he, much as I want him to succeed, because I really, really love Paul, I also want for him to have a break. Yeah, like I want him to succeed. Of course, I want them both to succeed. I like, I like both of these guys. Mm-hmm. But I, I, I just, I, I want Paul to have a break. Yeah, I, I think feel he like deserves because he, he, he's been close so many times this season. He's been performing like Paul Yohama does at a higher level. Right. But I think. In this case, at with this late in the season, uh, we, we see it with a lot of competitors, myself included. Yeah, burnout is such a thing, and I only yeah. play in one division. Yeah, he played in three. Oh, both of them have played in th- three, right? I mean, Barbarian wasn't Barbarian in this wasn't tournament, in. but he plays in IG. He played in IG, but Barbarian didn't go into teams like he wanted to. Oh, you're right. So he he's only teams. played in two. True, um, but he's he's also I would consider him a three division competitor. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah. A capable. But yes, you're possible. Right. Yeah, but yeah, I, I think this is just a case where Paul is just getting burnt out. Yeah, I think he needs he needs this off season to just recalibrate and uh, gather rest. himself up and rest. And um, like I said before, like I think net going into next season, focus on teams and singles. Try not like the IG thing is fun when you can try to go for it, but like if you don't, it's your team doesn't need you to go to singles right have somebody else do IG. It. oh yeah sorry IG. sorry 
yeah, if, if if it's not crucial that you go into IG, well, let it slide. Right. Focus on the on the the, the, the two divisions that you know you can be dominant because he got real close in teams. Oh yeah. He got real close in, in singles, and he went into this tournament and just like it just it just seemed like Lady Luck was not on his side this year. Yeah. And it's just it, it was one of he's one of those competitors. He's not like God. When is he gonna catch that break? Yeah. And especially after winning free for all, it's like cool. That was his, probably his biggest break this season. Yeah. And um, it was curious because after in the post match, they addressed the, or at least Jen tried to address the uh, whole Chandra situation with the right. number one contender uh, in his pocket. And it's like, yeah. So, anyways, yeah, next season, I'm like, did they really? I got to go yeah, back and rewatch it. They, I think I stepped out when that happened. They breezed right over it. They hmm. didn't answer it at all. They're like, what? Okay, whatever. I was like, that's interesting. <laughs> so, we'll see what happens with that. There's no actual confirmation with that Chandru um, title shot. Yeah, something smells something, fishy to me. Yeah, something is weird in the water. Something f- smells kind of funny. Just even when Chandru came out, it's like, yeah, he's giving it to me. It's like, really? Why? Why? I mean... He he earned it. Yeah, like, that's, it's very, it's very it's strange. It's free for all, which is no easy feat. Yeah, so I don't know if Paul's going to hold on to it for next season. Just have that in his pocket. Like, hey, whoop, I'm going to start my season off with a title match. He can yes, do that. He could. So I think he has until next free for all to use it. So we'll see what happens with that. But Barbarian, this is another competitor. I'm like, when is he going to get his break? True. Because I know how hard that dude studies. Oh, yeah. I mean, I said last season, I was one of those competitors where, like me, I was saying, dude, you got to you gotta chill. <sighs> <laughs> you got to chill with your study, man. Because oh, he, he, hard in the he described to me what he was doing Um well, when we were on the exchange the other last season, I was like, man, I and thought I was... And I'm sure I he's was... refined it and kicked it up oh, since yeah. then. And now they, they hold like study sessions with the exchange. So that helps out tremendously as well, having people have your back during study sessions. So, um, yeah, I, I've, been, I've been rooting for Barbarian for, for the longest time. And like he just he was one of those competitors, that, like Paul is the season where he just couldn't catch that break. Yeah. Um, so um, I'm, I'm glad to see uh, um, Barbarian move on to the next round. And he faces, I believe it's Brendan Meyer, right? I believe so. Yeah. So that's going to be a, a match um, because oh, yeah. both competitors are, are looking real real solid right both now. Both looking solid. Both got momentum behind mm, oh, them. Oh, yeah. And we're going to talk about another, the other competitor in a little bit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and why they got some momentum going on. Spoilies if you haven't, you know. Okay. All right, so next match, we're going to go rewind to the beginning of the week. <sighs> For what match, my dear? Oh, God, it's a Star Wars match. It's a Star Wars? Yes. The Ultimate Schmodown Star Wars tournament? Who Who's in this Ultimate Schmodown Star Wars match? I'm trying to For some reason. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy, we've got, okay, we've got a Damon DiMolanta match. Ooh, do we? different one. We've got Alex, the Demon Damon of the stars, versus me. <laughs> <laughs> Dimmy. Say it loud and proud. Nikki Dimmy DiMolanta <laughs> of the Usual Suspects. That nickname will never get old for I, me. It, it gives me endless enjoyment to hear people like Mark Ellis, Christian Harloff Hilarious. call you Dimmy. Hilarious. It's so pleasing. Never thought in a million years. I was like, oh, they'll come up with something. Maybe the Huntress. Something like that. Or something like that. But Because I literally, I think I've said this before. I didn't know what my nickname was until the first match against John Howie. Mm-hmm. I didn't know it until the moment that Andrew Guy announced me into the match. So I don't know if I was laughing a little bit when I first came on screen, but if I was, that's why. Because I was like, oh, what? <laughs> Use that as my name. Actually, oh my God, it happened. <laughs> I got to go back and watch it and see if I was laughing when I was introduced because yeah. that's 100% why I would have been. Mm-hmm. It's hilarious. Oh, and yeah, before we get to the match, probably my favorite promo of the entire season. It was a lot I of fun. love this promo so much. Not for the, like, cause like I'm biased towards my own promos as well with my, my ones Why against like Alex and stuff. Cause they're just like these epic sweeping songs and it's like, Oh, two Goliaths and stuff. But like this one was like, I love the cuts in this. Yeah. There's one cut in particular where, where Roxy is like, Oh, I'm, you know, I'm um, particularly annoyed with anyone named Di Melanta. And then it cuts to Sam go be specific. We're talking about Nikki Dean a lot. Uh, oh, I, cuts to me being an idiot. I <laughs> love that cut so yeah. much. It's, oh, Nerd Chronic Eric Mann is a, is a wizard. I, I really love this. Is. I love this promo so much. He's amazing. Yeah, it was a really fun promo. Mm-hmm. And um, I don't know. I was like, what do I do for the promo? Yeah. We, had a lot of, we, we had a lot of fun shooting this one. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't want to take the makeup off afterward. Like, it was just a lot of fun. Yeah, I was like, let's take advantage of this. Let's do a TikTok. <laughs> that did happen, Check me yes. out on TikTok. Check it out. <laughs> <laughs> I posted it on Twitter as well, but go follow me on TikTok. 
TikTok. Uh, Rogue Leader Drew. Rogue Leader Drew. <laughs> Round one. Alex missed the question about the voice of Rada mm. in the Clone Wars. David, David Accord. Accord. We both missed a question that was an absolute bomb. <laughs> there were several in this match. Let me just say that right now. Yeah. This question was rough. Uh, the home world of pod racer Elan Mack. It's like, oh my God. What? I could, I, I maybe could have, no. No. I mean, we, I mean, we know the character. I know the character. I know. I get it. Um, and I know that I've laid eyes on that planet yeah. before, but not it was enough. Just one, yeah, just one of those, like, like almost, I know I looked at it one time and I was yeah. like, who cares? You know, it was almost a life zone situation where it's like, kind eh. of, well, I'll, I guess, I don't know why that stuck in my head and yeah. before it didn't, but, but yeah, um, yeah, this was a doozy of a question. Mm, oh yeah. This is like, this is a round one question. You kidding me? And then we both missed what actor took over the role of as Kit Fisto in a, what I think Revenge, I think I believe so. Another um, another ben Cook bomb of a question. Like, yeah, God, man, I and both like, actor questions too. I feel like I oh, should no, no, have known. Sorry. Not an actor question. Well, no, the actor questions are coming. Yeah. Well, I mean, they're in. They've already started. Yeah. But um, yeah, no, I I shouldn't. I should have. I should have covered my bases with that one. But yeah. it is what it is. By the end of round one, it's seven to eight in favor of Demi. <laughs> it's so weird talking about myself. I don't like it. <laughs> round two. Alex spins away from the Phantom Menace. They were figuring, you know, the cuts are already deep yeah. and one of them was from the Phantom Menace. Yeah. So he gets Spinner's choice and he's like, ugh, hate Spinner's. I'm like, I'm right yeah. there with you, bro. Because it's like, I, I might as well gonna, just say Spinner, Spinner again. Spinner again, we'll I don't want to. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> but he takes a new hope because he says he spent the most of his life I with the original trilogy and who could blame him? Um, he goes to multiple choice on who played Dex Tyree. Fortunately for me, mm -hmm. I stole it. Um, he goes to multiple choice a second time. I was really hoping he'd miss this one because we were we've been talking about <laughs> this yeah, this, this droid, droid for yeah. a while, and we're like, one day maybe it'll come up, and then it did <laughs> not for me. It's the curse of a Star Wars competitor. Like you use like that one question or several that you're like, please, yeah. And you and the other your opponent gets asked it, and it's like, yeah. <laughs> so, anyways, he went to multiple choice. It was the WED fifteen, mm -hmm. um, it was the septoid droid. Mm -hmm. He got it. And then he had a two point miss on Kim Falkenberg playing what bounty hunter in a new hope. Another, another bomb, like bomb of a question. Oh my God. Bomb of an actor question. We saw like two, yes. we saw several in this match. Like it was heavy on actor questions mm -hmm. and this one was no exception. Mm -hmm. I had no idea. And he says Greedo and I'm like, oh, what are there? Yeah. Let me try to think of other bounty hunters. And so that's why I went with Beto. Cause mm -hmm. I was like, I don't know. I, I literally had no idea. Yeah. It was kind of, as soon as I heard the question, I was like, oh God, please go to multiple choice. So that if you miss it, I have a 33% <laughs> chance of yeah. getting it. Um, but you know, it is what it is. Um, it was, I don't know how you pronounce it. Joss poor. D J A S so. poor. Mm -hmm. What a question. <laughs> no steal. <laughs> no surprise. Yeah. No, that was, that was like, that was quite whew, a question. That I was, mean, that was, that was filthy. Mm -hmm. That question. Um, I go, I, I get force. I don't know what's happening. Why I've spun it in I mean, every match. You, Wait, you love this movie. Did I? You, you spun force awakens to the last three matches. Basically. Right. But I didn't get it through spinner's choice. I think the first, first one, you, one I first one you okay, did that's and the was, next yeah. two you, you did. Um, I, I don't know what it is. Um, but I was like, I, I don't want to do this three times in a row. Mm -hmm. That just doesn't seem right. Yeah. So I figured so let's just spin away. Broaden your horizon. See, see if happens. you get some questions your way with a different slice. I got spinner's choice. Another, ugh. <laughs> yeah. Like just spinner again. Yeah. But you know, at the, at the time it just felt right to be like, mm, rogue one. Yeah. Um, it worked out. I got a perfect round two. Yeah. And so that, that was cool. That actor question with Dunn Sig Taro. I was so happy oh that came up. God, you just went over that too. Yeah. That was a question that I had just recently been like, Oh man, I never actually knew who played this guy. Yeah. So yeah, that was a, that was a, I couldn't believe yeah, that came up. So many actor questions. I remember coming out and telling you recently, like, hey, did you know that does this name sound familiar, Tony Pitts? <laughs> so yeah. I, when this question came up, I was like, oh, yes. <laughs> Love it I think I remember that. watching Alex's reaction to that, and he was like, oh, my God, that was, yeah, that was good. Because yeah, that that's, a, a, that's a rough question. That was fortunate for me because mm. I kill, cannot believe that question came up. 12 to 19 in favor of me. Round, it's so awkward. <laughs> so weird. In favor of Dimmy. <sighs> round three two pointer for alex who said it which character said you're gonna need a nickname because i ain't saying that every time han he got it three pointer for alex heroes in the phantom minutes funny how 
I mean, I feel like this happened in like three out of three matches we talked about today mm -hmm. where somebody spins away from something in round two and then one of the round three questions is what yeah, they spun away from. It's funny how the Shimoda works. Crazy. Um, in The Phantom Menace, what words of advice does Anakin's mother give him before Sebulba sabotages his pod? Goes for a repeat. Gets in the ballpark. Says, mm -hmm. be careful. However, it was be, be safe. safe. And he did miss it. Yeah, and I remember specifically you know, the helmet's like, well, he got close enough. It's like, there, there's, there's no close enough in this yeah. It, especially in this division, there's not really room for close enough, especially when they're asking for the quote. Well, I they think didn't, they didn't, they didn't say, say that they're specifically asking for the quote, but it is a quotes question. It's kind of like, implied. It's, it's implied in the questions like, what did she say? Yeah. So if, if, if I say, hey, what did they, what is their response or what did they tell him? They're basically asked, they're in, within the context of the question, they're asking for the quote. And the quote isn't be safe, it's be careful. Or I mean, be, the quote isn't be careful, it's be safe. Right. It would That kind of logic would be like, hey, what was what did Han say after Leia said she loved him for the first time? And you were like, uh-huh. It's like, yeah, it's the same sentiment. But that's yeah. not what he said. Yeah. So, yeah, I thought it was interesting that somebody was like, hey, maybe you could probably challenge that. Yeah. Like, mm. I mean, fans will always try to find a way to argue for their of compared course. as they want to win. I don't blame what? them for that, but it's like... Look, Look at the context of the question. Look at what he said and what they're asking for. He didn't answer it correctly. Right. Unfortunately. Like, yeah, obviously the sentiment was there. And it yeah. was the same. It was on It yeah. was on the same road of thought. We don't know? want to go down another Luke's hatred uh, route. Don't even get me started. <laughs> <laughs> don't even get me started. <laughs> oh, my Sorry, God. Sorry, I hit a nerve. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move past it. Five-pointer for Alex. Ignore. Ignore. <laughs> ignore. Five-pointer for Alex. A new hope mm -hmm. in a new hope luke notices <laughs> the voice to text actually did r2d2 uh, <laughs> i do find it funny when subtitles don't go r2 they spell out r2 it's like that's a pet peeve of mine when why? they spell out 3po like t-h-r-e-e-p-i-o yeah why i don't know you're actually typing more characters than just saying it, may, it might be for it might be for hearing impaired I, I mean, if you, if, I mean, reading three P O as opposed to three P O spelled out, there's no difference. I, I, You're still reading it. Yeah, I, I think it, it, that's for it's for the hearing impaired because well, obviously it's for yeah. the hearing impaired. But if you're reading it, mm -hmm. what's the difference? It's not like one is available in subtitle and the other's not. I, you know I, what I'm saying? I, 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 I feel like to, somebody told me one time, yeah, something that made sense, and I was like, mm, I don't yeah, want to hear it. I, there's a way to explain it. It's just I can't remember it right now, but I do. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. It just bothers me. Like the <laughs> it a is. It's, it's it's annoying at times. It's like, why not just A R T O O for R two? Just put R two. It's two characters. Saves you some time <laughs> typing. I mean, I'm assuming that's how they do it. How else would they do it? Yeah, yeah. That kind of bothers me. I'm not, I'm not an engineer. So Voice to text definitely just went R two D two and spelled <laughs> it out with a bunch of letters. <laughs> um. Anyways, Luke notices a lot of what on R two. Um. Which Luke notices and says, oh, these droids must have seen a lot of action. Carbon scoring. Carbon scoring. He got it. Two-pointer for me, Jedi Order. Just what are the, one of your questions. Wild. What are the first words Obi-Wan says to Luke after his death through the Force? It was, of course, run, Luke, run. And with that, 19 to 21, somehow, <laughs> um, I did it. <laughs> I don't know. I am so unbelievably proud of you. Like, this was, this is a massive, this is a, an upset. This is an upset. If you want to say like, oh yeah, no, just set uh, King Khan over, or oh, 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 um, okay, sorry, King Arthur over deception isn't an upset because we know how well those guys are. This is an upset because nobody had you in this match. Everyone's like, well, Alex is going to go to the finals. He's going to face Harper at at, at, uh, at Spectacular. He's going to get the belt back because it's Alex Damon. I, I, if I yeah. was voting in a poll, I would have voted for him yeah. too. <laughs> if I'm being honest, <laughs> no. But we looked at the polls; it was staggering. Like twenty percent of the people thought you were going to win. Yeah, no, that's an upset. I usually don't look upon this is a true tried and true upset. This to me is upset of the year because yeah, uh, Paige for Betty over Ben Bateman. That's a big one. It's a bit. It's a big one. You you've beaten the unbeatable Alex Damon. The only people to 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 have beaten Alex Damon in a head to head match have the last name of Di Malanta. Well, because the only other person mm -hmm. besides us is Whitwer, and yeah. yeah, that wasn't a one that on wasn't one. A head it was a five way. So, I mean. Me, me going up against him the second time is like, yeah, well, we know exactly that. But it's like, 
because even you said you you were fortunate enough to squeak away with the win against Ross. Oh yeah, no, I will be mm -hmm. the first one to tell you that that was that luck was on yeah. my side that day. So like the way you performed in that match going into this one, it's like oh well, she does that again. She's done for against Alex Damon. Yeah, I did think it was funny. I somebody was like, yeah. well, she struggled in her match against Ross, and it's like I missed two questions. Yeah. <laughs> That's, you know that's struggling for Star Wars, though. But the fact that nobody had you in this match, and I will want to say you Not went nobody. Some people did. Yeah, but but basically the majority of people said no, no way. Nick is being being Alex. Look the way he's performing. But also, look how how you didn't just beat him. You wiped the floor with Alex Damon. Okay. <laughs> you went into the final round, up what seven points. Yeah. I went my my second match against Alex Damon. I went up against Grand Five Rounder, but yeah, yeah. I went up the high the, the largest um, point deficit that he had to overcome before getting G was six. Mm. You went into the final round up seven. If you can't tell me that nobody saw this coming, um, not me. Come on, that's upset of the year, right there. I don't care what anybody else match. says. I, clearly, I am biased. Well, Clearly, obviously. you're 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 my greatest triumph in the, in the movie <laughs> Trish mode on to date. Sure, having the title was awesome. Sure, <laughs> defending it twice was awesome. But to bring somebody that barely paid attention to Star Wars two years prior to us joining this fact, joining the, the league, and to have you beat the unbeatable Damon in convincing fashion is phenomenal. And I don't know why everybody isn't saying upset of the year. Some people are. Some people are, but not enough. This is massive. This is a huge statement. When you are undefeated in this division, you are what now? 3-0? Yeah. Alex Damon didn't go 3-0. I didn't go 3-0. I went 0-2 my first my, my, my first season. No, I think it's been... Um, the only people to have gone 3-0... Uh, and Ace, Thomas, and now gold leader in me. Yeah, yeah and now you. Yeah, oh, I, don't, I hope I'm not forgetting. Anybody. And just to put another spin on it, everybody love. I love championing female players in this league. You were the first female to go three and zero in this division. Why is nobody saying upset of the year? I think this and, is upset of the year. And to go to the finals. And right? to go, you're the first female to go to the finals of a, sing, a Star Wars tournament. What that? What? <laughs> I, I'm just as surprised as everybody else. Yeah, <laughs> and, that's, and that's what I'm saying. Everyone's like, no, it's it's Alex, it's Alex Damon. Alex Damon. What? Sure, he struggled a bit with his in his first match, but this these. And there are people like, well, Alex's questions were were so hard in the second round. It's like, that's the game. That's the game. Well, it's also like, you know, I'm, I'll be the first person to mm -hmm. call a spade a spade and say, hey, listen, yeah, that question was hard. Hey, yeah, Arme Asello, mm -hmm. that's yeah, rough. Wolf. That's that's unfortunate for him. Mm -hmm. And I will I will never try to say, yeah, the question was fine. No, that was a hard-ass yeah. question. But... It's also kind of like, yeah, okay, sniper configuration. Yeah, you, that was that was a layup. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, I don't you, know. You had it's some, all it's all very subjective. You had one giant bomb in your second round too. with the the uh, Dunstick Terror. That was a hell of a question. Mm, I don't know. But I mean, he he missed more in the first. You you got more in the first. You got a steal. Roxy was was in her post. And was like, well, she. It's not like she knew more. She didn't get any. It's like she she got one steal. So you you got a you got a point off him in the second round. Yeah. So like to ignore what you did. In this match, and not call it an upset is at least the this it has to get nominated. This match has to get nominated for for upset of the year. We'll it see. has to be. We'll see. It's like and like you said, everybody is always going to have. Usually, you're going to mm -hmm. have a, a player that you're rooting for, and mm -hmm. the one that you don't necessarily want to win, and and you're always going to find a way to be like, well, they should have won because of our, you know, it always happens, yeah. and it's okay. That's part of the game, but. But I mean, I don't, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I didn't ask for the questions. So, um, but yeah, mm -hmm. no, I was um, leading up to this match. I say the day of, but really the week before, the week. I was like <laughs> pacing, <laughs> <laughs> like stomach and knots. Like, oh my God. So, yeah. I was, I was and, in, I yeah. was out of sorts. I had to know like immediately after you guys taped it because people were messaging me. I'm like, I don't want to open this. I don't want to know. I, I want you to tell me. <laughs> so I was like, I, I came in this room. I'm like, are you done yet? And you're like, yeah. So I walk in and you're like, no, we're still in the post match. I'm like, oh yeah, that's right. What happened? And you're like, you did that, that classic thing. I'm like, I won. Like, <laughs> what? <laughs> you kidding? Are you kidding me? I was like, I, 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 I am, it, it is on. You are my greatest triumph in this in in the movie of mode. <laughs> to get you to three and zero, your first season. It's crazy. Yeah, I did. A, I was invited to do an AMA on Reddit mm -hmm. this this past weekend, and somebody asked me. 
Uh, it was something about like getting into the league and mm-hmm. what got me into the league and why I was reluctant to join mm-hmm. the league. And I was like, well, I was reluctant to join and still kind of in denial <laughs> that this is happening <laughs> because like I didn't start really paying attention mm-hmm. to star wars until you enter the schmodown mm-hmm. my rookie not my not even my rookie season it was my sophomore season that you really started to well, like I mean, drill I, into it i watched them yeah. your first season but look I, and i know i've said it before probably a couple times mm-hmm. but when i look back on the first season that you were in with, mm-hmm. we, I, it was a joke what we were doing or yeah. what at least what i was doing to try to help prepare you mm-hmm. what i was doing was a joke compared to what i do now mm-hmm. so i didn't really start paying attention to star wars really until your first arguably your second season Mm -hmm. because i'd never watched a single star wars movie until a couple years into us dating and we Mm -hmm. started dating in 2007 Mm -hmm. so i'm like when when the topic came up of joining the league it was like or the division it was like no i'm nowhere (laughs) near these people's level what are you talking about like i just started watching these movies uh like two years ago two or three years ago like paying attention Mm -hmm. like no way like there's no way that I'm at these people's level. Mm-hmm. And um, I, I forget how we got on this topic and where, what started this. <laughs> but um, but yeah, no, it's just, it. it's mind blowing to me. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't know. That's why I was so reluctant because I'm like, I haven't been watching these movies since I was a kid like the rest of you guys. Mm-hmm. And I know that Laura is a newer, newer fan, fan compared to people that have been watching it since they were like fetuses. But like, it's it's kind of unnerving it's kind of Mm -hmm. you know daunting to be going against people that it's like oh yeah my the first movie i saw in theaters was you know (laughs) i mean i don't think anybody currently in the division see an original in the theaters i don't think so maybe on a the last person oh no um scrimshaw yeah i was that's who i was thinking about i don't know but my first movie in the theater was a force awakens i'm a a young buck here (laughs) as far as fandom goes i don't i'm i'm not a lifelong fan you know, mm-hmm. you have come in like the 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 way that the Shmodan has transformed your fandom is oh, it's pretty big. it's massive. Like yeah. before, like uh, I think maybe two seasons ago, um, when I joined, uh, it'd be I would want to like talk to people about about Star Wars, and I was like, eh, yeah, okay, mm, cool okay, story, honey. babe. <laughs> yeah, but now that we're both in like where you are now, it's like we can go hours talking about Star Wars now. I mean, yeah, because I, I actually get what's happening. Yeah, and I enjoy it so much. Like yeah. now, like when we first started going rogue, when we tried that show. Oh, I didn't. I, I we, barely it, it was hard because like we we could have topics, but like you really wouldn't be able to chime in as much. Yeah. Now it's like now is the perfect time for us to do going rogue. True. We can go on, on, on and on and on about Star yeah, depending Wars on the topic. Yeah. yeah. Because uh, I think I also told somebody in that AMA like, Prior to Schmodown, prior mm-hmm. to this, um, we one time were joking around where we had like a piece of paper and we wrote down, I don't remember what year it was and what movies were out by then, mm-hmm. but we like wrote down all the episode numbers and all of the like rest of the titles, like the, you know, there's like episode oh, whatever, yeah, that's right. there's like <laughs> A New Hope, Empire. And we like, you wrote down like all of the titles and then all the episode numbers and I couldn't even match those up. <laughs> Like that was only, we're talking maybe three, four years ago that that was like that. <laughs> and I was like, I don't know, is episode five, the Phantom Menace? <laughs> I remember you would, you, you would like confuse episode two, and episode three. And the way you remembered which one was, which was like, oh, Anakin's hair is long in revenge. <laughs> I, I still do that. Sometimes. I still do that sometimes. Like, oh, was that when Anakin had short hair or the long hair? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like, how are you feeling after this win? Like, this has to be like. I was in shock. Mm-hmm. I don't know. <sighs> to quote a line from a Chicago a song from Chicago, yeah. I compl- I what was the line? I was in such a, I was in such a state of shock. I completely blacked out. I can't remember a thing. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, I was I was absolutely in shock. I was I went into this match with the mindset of, well, you know what? If I lose, at least it's, at least it's a respectable. Mm-hmm loss you know not to say anything about anybody else in the division mm-hmm. but to take a loss <laughs> against alex, alex damon. damon would be like yeah yeah that sounds about yeah right. that's okay yeah. I'm, I'm i'm fine with that you know so going into it is kind of like i don't have much left to lose or much to lose really mm-hmm. you know so but i was still nervous as hell mm-hmm. but yeah that's how that was my mindset going in like well if i win oh, wow if yeah. i win in the like one percent chance that i feel like i have of winning but if i lose it's i mean that's fine by me. it's alex <laughs> So, but because Alex is, 
He's still the goat in my eyes. Like, of yeah, course. he's had a the the he just hasn't been the same since you know this season. Earlier in the season, or since early in the season, um, you know, since fifty one fifty, that was the last like dominant Alex Dam that we saw. Right, that was scary. That, that was, was a scary, scary match. match. But since then, like the division, the questions have stepped up. The questions have radically changed, and he just hasn't seemed that dominant since then. Um. You know he's a busy guy, obviously, because you know he he has a massive channel that he has has to look over and run. But like, I don't know, man. It's and, and I think he alluded to it in his post match interview. It's like he, change up he's got to change up his strategy because before he was coast not coasting, but he was he was basically like running on just pure knowledge. Because like right. up until this point, strategy didn't matter a whole lot. What you knew was what you knew, and he knows right. a lot oh, about Star yeah. Wars. And that was carried him through his career. Yeah. And he's the goat for a reason. We, like we all strive to beat and beat, be and beat him. He shaped the, the the division isn't as competitive unless Alex Damon is a part of it. Yeah. Because we all were get trying to it was it was before this season, it was Alex Damon and then everybody else. It was just a race to try was, to get your way to the a, top. Yeah, it's a race to, to whoever can get can can get to the top and take the belt from him. Right. Um and I think he alluded like now he's ha- he has to pay attention to things that he really hasn't been able to pay pay attention to in, in the past. And I think it, he really I think he said it really came down to gameplay. He just needs to polish that point part of the game up of knowing how because it showed that that two point miss was like I was surprised he, he didn't check he down. He could have checked down, and that's not the first time he did that. He did that in in the Demon Demon Two uh, but, of not checking down. I mean, I can't so, I can't say what's going on in the man's head because mm-hmm. you know. But if I had to guess mm-hmm. why maybe that happened, because I think it was kind of a similar situation in both matches. I mm-hmm. think he was down by a couple. Mm-hmm. And I wonder if he was thinking, again, my mm-hmm. guess. I don't know. I didn't ask him. Mm-hmm. Why would I? But like, I'm, maybe it was like, well, I'm down. You need to make up and you points. can't that you, you don't have much time to make these points up. <laughs> yeah, it's a three round, yeah. I kind of feel like I need to take the swing. Um, so I don't know if it was like that, like, well, I got to make up a little bit of lost ground here. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I, Alex is, is just, I don't see him a, a lot like Adam Collins. They have, they had a similar season where it's like, God, they were on top of the mountain at the end of last season. But now it's like a couple of struggles this season, a lot of road bumps and a lot of learn like hard lessons that they have to learn this season. But like we always say, it happens to everybody. Yeah. Nobody remains Undefeated, yeah. In the Shmoda, nobody remains dominant throughout their entire career. There's a, there's, there's gonna be a, a couple of rough bumps here and there exactly. throughout your, your career. Nobody remains a, undefeated. Mm-hmm. You're gonna lose at some point unless you have a run and then you're like, bye, and yeah. you retire, mm-hmm. and you're like, yeah, yeah, no, you're not getting me with that loss. Yeah, <laughs> like that would be the only way if yeah. you just had a good couple of run, good, good couple of matches on a run, mm-hmm. and you leave. If you stay in it, you, everybody loses at some point, mm-hmm. and everybody's gonna struggle at some point, and. People just aren't used to seeing that with certain players. Yeah, especially Alex Damon. Exactly. He's been so dominant for so long, and I, I I see him getting back to that form. It's just again he has a he has a refocus his strategy throughout this game, and right. maybe that means parting with the stars because the stars. Who I mean, it's it's rough because Alex was their their ace for for getting them back into the you know competing form. Right. And now that he's out of the tournament, it's kind of like uh oh, I mean now it's just Janine. I think so. Yeah. yeah. So we'll we'll see what happens with him because people have been saying like maybe Roxy just oh, wipes no, everything clean next season. Roxy's pretty loyal to her the yeah. people that she. Although I do, she has a couple diamonds in the rough with um Jacob. No, no, he has, she Jacobi, has Jacobi Bancroft. Sorry, Jacoby Bancroft and the uh, and um um Nick Har- Nick Harley. Nick Harley. So I say keep those two. Oh, yeah. And all, if if Janine can continue her dominance, keep Janine. Yeah. And you, you got to stick with, it, with Alex Damon. Well, no. Come on. If Roxy, Roxy is nothing if if not loyal to her competitors. Yeah. And she will fiercely defend them to the ends of the earth. Mm-hmm. And we've seen that many times. Oh, yeah. So I I really don't see any possible outcome where Alex doesn't stay with them. Yeah. You but, never you know, know, you never know. Crazy things happen in the Schmodown from time I to mean, time. It, so. it, it would help her just to start clean, find some new talent and, may, let you know. Let everybody go and see where they, see where they end up. So we'll see what happens. But yeah, I don't know. I'm I, I I'm still in shock. I still can't <laughs> believe this happened. So yeah, you, now it the the finals are set. Um, when I don't know exactly when when you guys are when the finals are, but it is now 
gold leader of the Finstock Exchange going up against Nikki Demi Di Milanta of the of the usual sus- suspects for the finals of the Ultimate Schmodown Star Wars tournament. How uh, wild is that? I don't know who can see the players while we're backstage, but when I was backstage after they after it was over, there was a moment where I was like, "Oh my god!" And then I feel like I like covered my face and like crumpled because i was like oh, i have to play in a five round <laughs> that's right that's right your first so, five rounder so terrifying yeah it is it's different i mean you i think the closest experience you have is getting me ready for my matches because i only competed in five rounders this season that is true so you have that you have that going for you but uh i'm sorry i haven't uh gold leader does have experience in the five rounder he does so that's gonna be interesting to see how you how you fare in this this next match so that's terrifying um He's got an amazing accuracy rate. Yeah. And uh, yeah. that's scary because that's kind of the most important thing <laughs> <laughs> is not getting questions wrong. Yeah. So, so yeah, it's uh, it's terrifying. And uh, it's going to be just going to try to be brave. Is, you, you broke a lot of brackets, I will say. Like I said before, this is a true upset, upset of the year, in my opinion. And you, I'm pretty sure everyone in the Facebook group is like, my, well, my bracket is busted for the Star Wars tournament because they everybody had out. It, it was going to be Alex against either Laura or, or Gold Leader. I'm pretty sure their finals was Alex Gold Leader. So that's what I would have picked too. <laughs> Oops, all berries. <sighs> so we'll see. It's you know, gonna I'm just going to keep on at that. I just gonna keep on sweating. You know, I was sweating before this match, and I'm. I just guess I just get to keep sweating. <laughs> Season's oh, not over. It's okay. I live in Florida. I'm used to sweating. <laughs> Okay. Okay. So now we have a versus a versus. We have a the one match team view title match. We've got lightning time of the usual suspects, which is of course lightning Lee Shannon Miller and Ethan big, big time Irwin versus Shazam. The reigning defending champs. I'm so of stupid. Course. I should have worn my black Adam shirt. How Such a dummy. And I'm oh, embarrassed. I for you. Be loyal to my franchise. You're going to wear a Star Wars shirt. How dumb am I? Who invited this guy? Anyways, Shazam is, of course, William the Beast Bibiani and Brendan the Kid Meyer of the Mercs. Round one. By the way, the most amicable match. Yeah. The most, the friendliest. The friendliest match you will ever see in the showdown. Adorable. Round one. They all missed a question of all four of them missed mm. the question about failure to launch. Oh yeah. Which I don't know, probably not a good movie then, you know? That's if there's I don't need rotten tomatoes. If you want to tell me a movie's bad, let four titans of this game miss a question about a movie. <laughs> and that's how I'll know that movie is <laughs> That's and a good don't, point. Don't need to watch it. And a lot of well one one is running a film company and one is a, an actor in the industry and I think two are are uh, like critics. critics. Yeah. That's how I, I know. know. Liz I know. I know. Bibbs is a is a critic. I don't, so. I'm not sure about Liz. I'm not sure about Liz. But that's my tomato meter right there. Is nope. Don't need to watch this. It's <laughs> rotten. <laughs> Liz, Ethan, and Bibbs miss an Oscar question, uh-huh. and then Liz missed a question about Catherine Heigl. We should. Sorry, <laughs> weird tangent. We should start our Schmodown review. That type of thing. It's not. It's not just like you know what do they think of it. Ask a question about a movie, and have Schmodown competitors like. See if they can answer it. If everybody gets it right, it's like, all right, I guess it's, it's worth seeing. And if like 50 what, for every percentage, yeah, if, if like 50% of them miss it, it's like, meh, it's 70% fresh. And, every, and, if, and if everybody misses the question, it's like, yeah, don't even bother watching the movie. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> that would be fun. That'd be fun. That'd be a lot of work. Yeah. <laughs> At the end of round one, it's 11 to 13 in favor of Shazam. Round two, Lightning Time goes first. They speak. They spin directors. Mm-hmm. Okay. They go to multiple choice one time. They missed it. Mm-hmm. It did get stolen, but that's it. Shazam goes. They spin away from dystopian future and time travel. They get Alfred Hitchcock. Oof. They did get a two point miss. Very surprisingly. Yeah, very and surprising. It did get stolen. So it's like, oh, whoa. Oh, no. Now it's only 23 to 24 in favor of Shazam. Still have the lead, but it's that's only not, by one. still not good. Round three is, of course, a five rounder. We got the betting round here, everybody. Bibs goes and spins that wheel. I don't know who greased that wheel up. Yeah, they need to tighten a couple of bolts on that thing. Cause that, it's like, spin Lord. it and then go have a drink or something because yeah. it's going to keep on spinning until you get back. It's like a waterfall. Keep drinking until the... Oh, <laughs> can you... Ooh, Shodan party uh, like rules. Like, spin... When they spin the wheel, keep drinking until the, the wheel stops spinning. 
Oh my god. You're welcome. Wow. Play at home. Every time penalty is responsibly, said, please. Like, yeah, no. There, yeah. Oh, there's so many rules you could. Oh, there's so many rules. You're welcome. <laughs> Not to your liver. <laughs> <laughs> Drink responsibly, please. Please. Round three. Bibbs spins mixed bag. Kind of iffy. I mean, for singles and teams, that that's everything ever. That's yeah. terrifying. No. Shazam, both teams bet three. However, Shazam got it right. Ooh. Lightning time missed it. Oof. And that go, oof. is not good. That's <laughs> massive. That's a that's that's like, yeah. We now have a seven point game. 20 to 27 in favor of Shazam. Going into round four. The buzzer round, the speed round, the buzzer round. Shazam got three questions right. Lightning time missed, missed two. two. So with that, 19 to 30 in favor of Shazam with a knockout. knockout. Ooh. Defending, Negative. what is this, the second defense now? Second defense right? and knockout. We So we, sorry, we hang up, hang a negative one on you guys and we get a plus one for us. A it's plus fine. one. It feels, it feels good to finally get a plus one and not a negative one. <laughs> yeah, <I bet. laughs> We've been knocked out the most this season and it feels good to finally do have it go the other way. Yeah. So, um, unfortunately, you know, for it, for a team that I really enjoy watching. It's all right. You're lucky I like Bibbs and Bibbs so much. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this is shocking. I thought this was going to go to the distance. Oh, I think it, a it, lot it, of us it, did. Yeah, it came down to the betting round. That's really that, that's all it really boils down to. The betting round is what it, is what uh it would did it in for for lightning time. Yeah. So um, I, I know Bibbs was like after that two point miss, it's like oh that's it, kind of discouraged. Yeah, kind of like, just make it quick. Him. Yeah, just make it quick. Let's let's get it over with because I'm pretty sure you're make in it your fast. Head. Yeah, make it fast. But uh, yeah, that's that betting round really saved saved them and the speed. Ethan missing two was just like I think he was just like oh god, we were behind so much. Yes. I gotta get his points. We can't go in down this many. Right. Well, because I think the last question. The very last question before it was decided it was, a, was miss. a miss with mm -hmm. Ethan. And I think that he was just thinking, oh, if they get it, it's over. So mm -hmm. I might as well try to get to the punch first and see yeah. if I can get it. So you can't blame the guy for that. Yeah. It was actually a good move. Yeah. And, there, and like I said before, with Ethan, sometimes his, his demeanor, you know, cost him. He didn't do any of that this in this match. No, they seem to be really they seemed, key, like keyed in. Yeah. But oh, everybody seemed to be very laser focused for this match. Um, everybody was on the top of the game. It's just. And it was weird too because Lightning Time used all three of the repeats in the first. I think that yeah, really that was cost a bad them. omen. I think had they gone into the to the betting round with at least one repeat, I, they might have been able to get there. But because they were talking like well, we got to write something, and we have no repeats. Yeah, because I think the, the answer mm -hmm. was just go with it, just and they wrote down Bewitched or something yeah. like that. So I think had, Nicole Kidman. Yeah, and, that, and that's why like what, you know when I play like I, I like if I have to I, I will repeat, but like I like to keep at least one going into the final round just in case you never know you never know but like to burn repeats in one round is because like if you don't get it after one repeat it's like uh, yeah, okay whatever but with teams it's different though because it's like yeah you have to trust your 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 partner to like oh you see how many we have stop stop using them yeah so um but yeah it's it's unfortunate for, for lightning time because again they are a team that i, I root for and i really like their dynamic I, and god knows they know so much about movies yeah um so yeah um yeah no definitely not the outcome i was expecting yeah <laughs> for sure i mean and i feel i feel like that's another thing that people tend to say a lot is and we're going to go into overtime brah, brah, brah. yeah and then whenever you say it it never oh happens. yeah that's like I, I wish the announcer would stop doing that <laughs> because it's like especially when I, when like we're in the match it's like oh when are they gonna miss like you okay, know cool it. the next one I will. every <laughs> time an announcer says that the next question somebody misses or a very a question very soon after. Yeah, and it's like, come on, don't don't jinx the pitcher while he's on the mound. Yeah, come on now. <laughs> it always happens. It always happens. But it's a shame mm -hmm. because yeah, Liz and and Ethan are they're great. Yeah, they have a great dynamic. And they came so close, you know, getting mm -hmm. getting just getting yourself to a title match. Yeah, is, and is, look who they beat to get there. Yeah, deception, final exam. Um, who else did they beat? Don't ask me. Just off the top of my head, those are two know. mammoth teams to to overcome to get to this point. Yeah, it's just like I was saying, Bibbs and and uh, Brendan are playing out of their minds right now. Yeah, and um, I'm I'm so glad to to uh, that have them get their their second defense. Oh yeah, because like they're now at what they're eleven and three. They have the best something gigantic. They have the like best that. teams record in smart on history. Mm -hmm. And I, th I I do think I think they are the best team that that I've at least that I've seen in this 
uh, in my um, experience in the showdown. I think because, they're starting to get that credit. Mm-hmm. You because know? It, it is hard to overcome that, however, like nine, six tile defenses for, for the uh, the Patriots. Patriots. But you can't argue that the, the competition is is extremely hard now. Yeah. To get 11 wins in the team's division. And only, they've only lost three times. Right. And, and it's crazy. And I, Brendan said as much as, to me as as much. And I, I could go back to him. It was so, when I had the belt, it was so incredibly satisfying. It was just magical for us to be champions together. Yeah, it was pretty cool. And for them to, for, you know, it sucked for us to lose lost one belt. But for them to go into spectacular with the belts and going back to that magical theater. Yeah. Um, would be great because that's basically where everybody says Shazam was born was in that theater. Oh yeah, that's right. They were saying that in the post match, yeah. I think. So I'm excited to see them in Spectacular. Um, if we, if we're lucky enough to go there, to, to just I would love to walk. Why in. do you have to do that to me? Sorry, <laughs> but there's still there's still hope. There's still hope. Um, because yeah, okay. so I would love I would love to walk my guys out because that'd be cool. You know, it's 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 a magical moment to to, to be champions and to to walk out. Spectacular! I've never gone to a spectacular. We've never gone to a spectacular as viewers or competitors, right? But to walk out with them would be something special. And speaking of spectacular, mm-hmm. oh yeah, the post. I the, yeah, love William Bibby Ani <laughs> because the fact somebody somewhere I don't know where mm-hmm. social media probably this, Facebook somebody was like yeah okay cool Shazam won or I, I don't know if, I think it was before the match they were like yeah Shazam will probably win um, but they always lose a spectacular and I don't know if that is because I did see a comment like that yeah. and I don't know if that's what Bibbs was referring to but mm-hmm. in the promo he said something about well you know what they always say Shazam Real? only loses spectacular <laughs> that's all that's that's William I, to the core died right there on the couch when he said that that was hilarious oh my god that was so funny i don't know if that's what he was referring to or Mm -hmm. why he would say it but i can only imagine that's what he was responding to but Mm -hmm. it was hilarious and a complete power move (laughs) so yeah yeah i loved it i thought it was great (laughs) yeah so yeah we have we have a ticket into spectacular now so i was hoping to punch that with you know for the mercs with with uh star wars belt but well, at least the Mercs, the Mercs got their ticket we, punch. We, we they just got punch. it with some with. You, you were hoping it would have happened first for you, but mm-hmm. you know it, it's now punch for Shazam. Yeah, so that's yeah. cool. Yeah. So I'm. So I'm, what so is that? I'm, that's we have we have we have eight points for we, for the defense. That's not where I was going. nine points. Wow, yeah, that's not where I was going. Sorry. We have for spectacular. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Marisol locked obviously mm-hmm. for singles. Now Thomas we have Harper. Shazam mm-hmm. locked for teams. We have. We already know all the titles are are, are that locked. We have Mike. All the titles are locked. So for for what for at least one half. Right. That's, yeah. That's that's what I'm trying to say. Sorry, here. Jiminy Christmas. You got Marisol. <laughs> Sorry. You got Shazam. Ig. I think is the only one where you have both. You got Mike, and I think you got Parker. Oh yeah, Parker. Sorry. Yeah. If Chandra's telling the truth, mm-hmm. or if he's if he's not telling the truth, then it is a lock between mm-hmm. those two. If he if Chandru is if he's for real, he, then yeah. I guess we'll figure. We'll have to figure I don't out. Know. Yeah, but and yeah. then um, Harper we know. Well, we know Harper is for Star Wars. Yeah, and he will face either the winner. He will either face you or Gold Leader. How wild is that? Why? <laughs> <laughs> you're one. You're one. Little, went away from a title shot. How wild is that? I, I don't dream, think my stomach can take much more. Dream of this. season. Like, oh my god. When you were doing your. I don't know, 70 titles matches earlier in the year. My stomach was just one big ulcer of worry and anxiety. I know, and you're panic. the one, you're the one on the desk now. And it's like, like I said before, that hasn't even healed. It's just bigger <laughs> I'm just, and more open now. I'm just sitting back on TikTok like, oh yeah, yeah, get those likes. Must be nice. <laughs> it must be nice to watch things that are star. Hey, uh, no, I'm not saying that I'm not nervous. Like when you're in here, the only thing getting me through the anxiety is TikTok. You were nervous that day. I could tell. Yeah, no, You I were was, weird that day. I was just like. You were really weird that day. Uh, and I'm over here like, what's the matter? Like, are you mad? Like, He's like, no. No. I'm like, okay, well, you're weird. <laughs> but I think you're just nervous. Probably be the same for your match against Belt Leader. <sighs> Thank you, Me TikTok, too. for keeping my mind off the pain. Me too. Good thing we <laughs> good thing we still got some diapers left around the house. I'm like <laughs> peeing myself all day, like leading up to it. <laughs> like, yeah. Anyways. Oh, wow. Anyways. Super happy for Zam. I'm so glad that oh, they got yes. their, their second tell defense. On the spectacular. Hopefully we'll be there. Two stand-up dudes. Oh, man. Love them I, both. I love them both. 
to death. It's awesome. Love them both. Great guys. Very beyond happy for them. Factions aside, incredibly ecstatic for for Mm -hmm. Bibbs and and Meyer. Yes. So. And to do it in a knockout fashion is just. Yeah. That's that's something something special. (laughs) So. Next week, um, I was, I mean, let me refresh one more time. Do they have the schedule up? No. No. It just says October, and let me scroll, scroll, scroll. They'll probably have it out tomorrow or today when this episode comes out. Probably, because there's, I mean, there would be a Patreon match dropping today. You're welcome. We we are dropping episodes later after, like, pay-per-views for the previous week. So, we're doing our part for the spoiler bits. So, whatever. And what? it makes it easier for me to, to, to for work. <laughs> True. Yeah. And there's also, a, we finally did a Radcast too. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> How embarrassing. That is so, a- yeah, as of right now, we don't know what matches are coming up, mm-hmm. but, you know, it is what it is. When it comes out, it comes out we'll, we'll, we'll go over them next week. Yeah. So with that, we'll go ahead and wrap it up here. Star Wars, Ultimate Schmodown Star Wars finalist, Nikki Dim- Dimmi Dimalata. Where can they find you online? Twitter. <laughs> you can find me on Twitter at Dimmy, D I M M M Y Y Y. As for me, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Drew DiMolanta, on TikTok at Rogue Leader Drew. I can't, still have to think about that. Me too. Please get me to a thousand. I'm at like, I'm at like 900 right now. Wow. I, I, I've gotten this past like two days. Like my channel is just, my, my, my channel, my page is just like, like on an upswing. So I'm like, I'm at nine. I'm pre- last time I looked, I was like close to 900. So I should on the trajectory that I was on today. I should be over 900 right now. Has Alex followed you yet? No. Molly hasn't either. Oh no. Oh no. If you're watching on YouTube, like comment, and subscribe, but click the bell icon in the lower right hand corner. See, what we do things on YouTube, <laughs> which is also radcast. We had one up last week talking about what? <laughs> TikTok. TikTok. <laughs> and how much I'm enjoying. And, the and Andrew's problem. <laughs> I do have it. a problem. I, 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 he uh, has a he has a very big a problem. Very big problem. I'm, I've gotten better about not filming TikToks like every night. I've gotten better about that. Lord. <laughs> and then I think we're going to do another one this week when yes, we talk about, yeah. you know, because it, it's, you know, spooky season. Halloween yeah. just happened. We're going to talk about our favorite Halloween costumes mm-hmm. because boy, do I have one. That yes. I, we, oh, boy. So, yeah, Rad is now a weekly show. So go ahead and we'll follow see how us. It goes. And hit, click the bell to know when they go up. Yeah. So, thank you so much for joining us on this episode of Beyond the Schmodown. We'll see you next Next time. time.